Are you bettering this day? You may say, I would if I could, I hear you. And while each day can come with its own challenges, if we have Jesus in our heart, we should wrap up each day with peace in our heart and leave it better than we found it. Here's what I mean. My youngest daughter is playing volleyball. In volleyball, with every touch to the ball, there is intentional effort to better the ball. Your touch affects the next player's touch, and the goal is to better the ball with each touch as a team for the sake of scoring a point. Can we better this day as the body of Christ in the same way? Through Christ alone and His Spirit within us, we can and we are called to do so. Ephesians 5, 8. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light, for the fruit of the light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. And find out what pleases the Lord. Have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. It is shameful even to mention what the disobedient do in secret, but everything exposed by the light becomes visible, and everything that is illuminated becomes a light. This is why it is said, wake up sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. As believers in Jesus, we are to live as children of light. It's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me, Galatians 2.20 reminds us. We are the light of the world, and we should be daily bearing fruit of goodness, righteousness, and truth. The Jesus in us is the only Jesus some will ever see or possibly come in contact with. As children of light, we should be bettering every point of contact we make each and every day. From what we read in Ephesians 5, I see three ways we can better this day. First, remember who you are and whose you are. You were once darkness. Now, because of Jesus, you are light. Don't forget that truth. Live like it. Shine goodness, righteousness, and truth to every person you come in contact with. You may be the gospel-bearing touch point that leads them to the next. Better the day. Second, expose the darkness with light. When we walk in the light, we have nothing to hide or fear. We shine love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control so brightly that darkness and its fruit must flee. As we respond to anger with love or hate with peace or evil with good, guess what? We better the day. Third, don't miss this day. There is an opportunity coming at you, and it's your turn to hit the proverbial ball. Wake up, rise up, and move. Watch for ways to shine bright and redeem moments, conversations, and opportunities around you. The first place to start is your own home and with your family. You're the first touch point they get every single day. Make the most of it in this moment, and you will better the day. You better this day by walking in the light of who lives in you and works through you in every circumstance for your good and His glory. That's the truth. One thing to remember, how you better this day is not determined by anyone else. Focus on your position, where God has placed you, and who God has called you to be. I'm Lori Klein.